Today, we're going to be asking the question, does matter really matter? Well, Arduino thinks it matters. Anyway, I'm Robin Mitchell, and today, Electromaker is here at Hardware Pioneers Max 2024 in London, and I'm joined by Sebastian from Arduino. Hi. And it's a pleasure to have you today. Nice to meet you. Brilliant. So, so what's the matter? Ah, right. So, well, as he says, what's the matter? Basically, what is going on with this board here? Right. So, this is uh, probably the, the newest release that we have. It's called the Arduino Nato Nano Matter and it came out just a few weeks ago. Currently, it's a, it's a community preview because we want to do it slightly different with this board by asking the community about their opinion to, to get feedback on the features of the board and integrate them in a in second iteration. However, it's out there for you to use and it makes it like really, really, really simple to connect any device that you're able to hack mm. or create yourself to integrate that into your smart home. So my first question then is, um, is this the first Arduino product that fully supports Matter? Yes, that's the first one, because it's uh, it's been adopted quite recently by the big players, so now it becomes really interesting, and now it's the time to come up with something. Right, and and why why essentially actually why does that matter? What is it about Matter that makes it so important? Right, so I've been playing around for quite a while with you know, integrating uh, my devices in my smart home, but it's been a bit difficult because there's all different standards. Right. But finally, yeah. uh, the Apples and, and Googles and, and uh, Philips, they... Nothing, nothing talks something. to each other, basically. <laughs> Until now, no. <laughs> but uh, now you can actually use matter -compa compatible devices with either Google, um, Apple Home, Google Home, uh, the, the Echoes and so on, and have something that works uniformly. And so the idea is that you can build your own projects that will also work in the same network with the same message protocols that those devices can work. So in theory, your Alexa could control your Arduino device. Absolutely. That's exactly what you can do. There is also demo applications, which allows you to set up a light-based demo in like five minutes or so. So you upload the sketch to this board. There's even an onboard RGB LED. So if you don't want to go for a big lamp, you can try it on the board. You open the Alexa app, you add a new device, like Matter device, and you're all set. Yeah. And I think the most important question now is, historically, Arduino has always been fantastic when it comes to its libraries, making almost the most, it makes the most complicated things trivial. My question to you is, how many lines of code do, do you need to make Matter work on an Arduino? Yeah. Um, I don't remember the the exact amount of lines, but I just worked on this demo last night, and I think in uh, roughly like 100 lines of code or something, you can get something running. Fantastic. Um, and, and I take it the library, like all the other libraries, is also free, so it all comes with the standard packages. Definitely. It's uh, actually we partnered with Silicon Labs on this one, so they uh, work together with us to develop the core for the board, plus the, the libraries that makes it, as you said, really easy to use. Fantastic. Now, just before we wrap up this video, I've got one more question for you. If an engineer out there wants to get involved with the Arduino Nano Matter, what would you recommend they do? First of all, get a board. Get a board. <laughs> Go to our website, get a board, and uh, don't hesitate to, to provide feedback on Discord, on our forums, wherever you uh, want to connect. And usually, the first thing to start with is like a light-based application because that's the one that comes pre-certified. Because the thing is about Matter, if you want to make a final product, you have to get it certified. And so, and so that kind of stops people pushing products onto the market that aren't fully compatible, which would essentially break that standard. You can still connect the devices, but you would see this ugly warning in, in your apps that you're connecting a non-certified device, which is probably not what we want. <laughs> and, and just to make sure I heard you correctly, any engineer out there can make any comment they want on the Arduino, on the Arduino forum, and it's not going to hurt your feelings. Hopefully not. <laughs> Hopefully not. Well, anyway, thank you ever so much for taking the time to see us today. It's been Likewise. an absolute pleasure. It was nice to meet you. Thank you.